But you've been sort of on both sides of the issue of government regulations, government things. How do you sort that out? I mean, how do, what's your own feeling about what the government should be doing in this area? I am not a big believer in government regulations. However, there are, there are some issues where I believe they need to step in. And when we went to the FDA, and it, we even went first to the FDA because people were selling pomegranate juice that wasn't pomegranate juice. And they said, look, we have a lot of sympathy for you, but we don't have, we're worried about people dying. And we can't, we don't have the time to, to uh, work, you know, worry about fraud. Um, the problem is, is that it's a slippery slope. And if you don't have regulation, mm -hmm. you don't know what you're eating. Because again, I, I'm sympathetic towards the packaged goods industry in a certain sense, because one, I mean, pomegranate juice is, you know, four or five times as expensive as pear juice, let's say. So the customer, our customer comes and says, well, fine, you're charging me $4 for this. Somebody else is charging me three fifty. Well, the reason they're charging three fifty is they put in less pomegranate juice. And pretty soon, you go from 20% to 10% to three-tenths of 1%. <laughs> and so I think the government, particularly with labeling and nutrition, because I think this is a big, this is one of the issues that um, Linda and I are very interested in, that we think, you know, that there's a big problem with obesity and health. And the two simplest, you know, the, the two least expensive ways to minimize the health problem in America is exercise and diet. But if you don't know what you're, it's hard enough to diet correctly, at least I find that. But if you don't know what you're eating, it even makes it that much harder. So we're big advocates of trying to get um, labeling uh, accurate. Now, this decision will allow the co competitors to bring lawsuits for unfair competition. So I think, in, in, in essence, the su Supreme Court, when the defense said, look, the government has stepped in here and they, they can oversee this, the Supreme Court essentially said, look, they don't have time to do it, it's not gonna happen. And so this is a way that we believe that the industry can be policed.